presenting the Kestepania team with their sporting directors Jose Luis Ramirena and Josebe Unzoe. Castepania is a Spanish team with a number of French riders, which is also run by a Frenchman, Ivan Le Danois, who we welcome here today. The team of Jose Luis Ramarena and Josebi Anzoe is composed of very talented riders. One in particular, he's not 25 yet. Remember his name. You'll be hearing it this year and years to come. Third in the Paris-Nice, stage winner in 2007 and 2008, Luis Leon Sanchez, a major Spanish hope on the brink of a big career. For our team, Kestipania, the main objective, I admit, is the final victory in Paris, with Valverde, who is one of the main favourites. It's true that around him, with a good team, he can do some very nice things. We're not going to miss out on stage victories either. Today he proved he is capable of winning stages. I think it's also important to pick up a stage victory in the Tour. It means a lot. In the team as well, a Frenchman who won a stage on the Dauphiné. He was on the podium of the French Time Trial Championships, Nicolas Portal. In the Caisse d'Epargne team, we also find a rider who was winner of the French Alps Classic, winner of the Tour de France in 2006, three times in the top ten of the Tour de France, Oscar Pereiro, winner of the Tour de France 2006. In the team, we also find David Lopez Garcia, third in the German Tour, sixth in the Paris-Nice, and then one of the punchiest riders, one of the world's best. He's been world under-23 champion, vice-pro champion, several-time champion of Spain, Josi Ivan Gutierrez. A professional team has to be built up. You need a lot of money, of course, and especially good riders. You need quality. Building a team for the Tour de France means creating a whole load of things. First, you need a leader. A leader capable of taking responsibility. A leader capable of affirming himself and leading the team. You also need to bring together riders that are good in several departments. Riders capable of climbing and road racing. And the lads that stay in the background who are also mentally and physically capable of sacrificing themselves for the leader. And also, and above all, a mixture of experience. I think that for the Tour de France, experience is a very important factor. You can't just turn up at the Tour de France the first year knowing all the rules. It's true, it's the most beautiful race in the world, and this is something I repeat time and time again, and it's brought me so much in my life. The Tour de France is a human experience, above all. He gave himself the pleasure of winning on the 14th of July in Draguignon, the Spanish rider Vicente Garcia Acosta. Vicente Garcia Acosta is a double stage winner of the Vuelta. Several minutes ago, we greeted the champion of France. Well, we have the pleasure of welcoming his heir apparent, the vice champion of France of 2008, Arnaud Coyot. A rider who comes from Picardy, who shone on the roads of Paris Roubaix. There's a T at the end of his name, but it's not pronounced. His surname isn't Coyote. I'll just make that clear. We have a Spanish rider, David Arroyo, winner in Portugal, 10th in Italy, 10th in the Tour de France, and at the head of this team, a rider who's been on the podium many times, world champion, once second, twice third, second, third and fourth in the Vuelta, double winner of the Liège-Bastogne-Liège, who in the same year won Liège-Bastogne-Liège and Flèche Wallonne, sixth in the Tour de France last year, he's one of the big favourites, he's the Spanish champion, the talented Alejandro Valverde, that's the Kestipania team. I'm very proud of the 2008 team. I'm very proud, and I'll say quite simply, earlier on I saw Pedro Delgado. 
and I remember his disastrous start in 1989, where he lost 2 minutes 50 in the prologue. The race was over from the start. It was a catastrophe. I've never had a better start on a tour like this year. Not forgetting my friend Miguel, who would win all the prologues. Taking the line today was great.